Yo, my dudes, what's going on? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into That 70s Show, Season 1, Episode 21, called Water Tower. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. Plain place just like Paris. <laughs> I don't even see like it. Paris? I was about to say. God, no wonder you think Kelsey could be a model. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a hand giving the finger. <laughs> <laughs> it does the. After the perfect hide, it's art. Get up and make it better. No. Yeah. Right up. Oh. There you go. Oh. Oh. Hey, Kelso. Yeah. How's it look from down there? <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, see? No! No! Yo, my man Red was putting in work. <laughs> Everybody hop in the car and let's go now. Where's your mom? Shut up! Don't you dare talk about my mom! <laughs> I couldn't imagine, man. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> Look at Hyde. Have been avoided. <laughs> yes. No, yeah. The cow kicked me after I tipped it over. I'm in a lot of pain. Oh my God. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> all right, all right. That's. I'm going. Whoever wants a ride. <laughs> yep, Hyde had enough. Hey, sorry about tonight, you guys. Sorry, why? We got to watch you fall, man. I had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> See, <Kelsey. laughs> <laughs> he can't even look at his mom. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> and she's eating a sausage. <laughs> Please go to red. Save, save thing. <laughs> yeah. Right after breakfast. God, make it stop. <laughs> it's the worst. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty. Oh, oh kitty. <laughs> oh, kitty. <laughs> No. Oh, Red, our Johnny is hot. <laughs> oh no, they finally put two and two together. Is nonsense. He's not on drugs. He's just weird. That kid's on dope. <laughs> I'll say it's Sunday. Oh no, he's <laughs> he's going to school. Damn it. You know, Fez, this show contains an important message. That very thing happened to a good friend of mine. Leaving? Mm -hmm. What's her name? Uh, may I ask who? <laughs> Man, that is one drunk, slutty cheerleader. I mean, it was mom and dad, but they were... They were like a pair of wildebeests on a national of course they're gonna do a skit. Oh my god. Deep in the unexplored psyche of a confused young man is a wilderness called Wild Wisconsin. <laughs> After several days of tracking, we finally located the den of the wily red. Many people have had this same experience. <laughs> really? And they turned out all right. <laughs> uh, some of them turned out to be serial killers. <laughs> Oh. But I'm sure that's just a coincidence. <laughs> but whatever. You know what the sad thing is? I actually think you're trying to be nice. Which is yeah. why I don't believe this. It's just not my strong suit. I saw my parents having sex. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. It'll be a while before you get a kiss from Foreman. And you liked it, right? What? <laughs> and they had 
like this checkerboard pattern all over their arms and legs. And my dad laughed and said they fell asleep on the hammock. But I knew it was a lie. I knew what he did to my mom. <laughs> She's not over it. And I'm going to be right over here when you're ready. Okay, we'll have fun being over there because oh, Hyde's right, not apologizing. Stupid. Hyde, just apologize already. It's nope. not my fault. Well, whatever he thinks it is. It is. You made me fall off the water tower. <laughs> but how? Did I push you? No, but did I make the railing slippery? No. Then how is it my fault? Because. Jackie said so. You didn't so. like my artwork. Ah. Uh. We can help get you clean. There's mm. counseling, hospitalization. My foot kicking your ass. <laughs> Red. Always threatening him the same way. Were your father and I having intercourse? Mom. Oh my God! Don't make it weird, Kitty. Don't make it weird. It's already weird. Well, no wonder you've been acting so weird. Red, say something. Make him feel better. Um. <laughs> It's more fun than it looks. <laughs> Good advice, Red. Good advice. I don't know how funny it is. I mean, what if that had been you walking in on your parents? No. He went through the same thing? And your mother was a dancer. I imagine that would have been quite something. Quit it, Kitty. Oh. Hey, don't. <laughs> oh no, stop <laughs> I am hurt <laughs> And all alone Oh my god, Fez And it is giving me the finger <laughs> <laughs> Of course Alrighty, season 1, episode 21 of That 70s Show And like I said earlier, man, this is pure gold I loved every second of this episode. Not only did it give you the awkward vibes that Eric had throughout it, obviously, because to me, uh, does it get any worse than that? Like, honestly, honestly, as a kid growing up, does it get any worse than that? Oh, man. Talk about a traumatizing event. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I'm, I'm leaning towards like 9, 10 range. The reason I don't want to give it a, a, the perfect 10 is because for me personally, I just don't think that Kelso's really all that funny. He's kind of sort of just the guy that uh, is really loud, tries to make people laugh with his really, uh, like him being really loud. And to me, like it works at times, but sometimes it's just like, ah, uh, we don't need it. And so like that's why I'm like, uh, kind of hesitant on giving it a 10, uh, but I still enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I still enjoy Kelso as a character. I just, I realize that the hides, the reds, the kitties, the foremans of the show, uh, they're very uh, versatile with, you know, the humor they throw at you. Yes, they're still their characters, but uh, it's more of what they're saying and how they're saying it as opposed to, because Kelso, whenever he gives you something funny, he tells you it the same way every single time. It's always really loud, really in your face. And if you find it funny, then so be it. He's just not... He's supposed to be like the dummy in the group, and it's fine. It's funny at times, like I said, but for some reason, this one, it was just whatever to me. Uh, but otherwise, everything else was great. Uh, the skits, I love the skits. To me, the skits are uh, what make this show. That and the little whole camera turning thing. Uh, the little high sessions or whatever they are. We can't really call them high sessions because he's not getting high with his family. You guys know what I'm talking about, those little camera angles where four people are sitting uh, across from one another and, you know what I mean, they're going back and forth saying things. Uh, that in this episode, great. The skit that they did in this episode, great. Uh, Kitty and Red, oh my god, for some reason, Kitty to me is amazing. I love her so much. She's awesome. Uh, I like the way that they went about... Uh, bringing up other people also having that problem when they were, you know, younger. With Donna obviously seeing uh, Bob and Midge doing it. 
and then with Red seeing his mom and whoever doing it. Uh, that is just the worst, man. That is the freaking worst. Like, to just, like, ah, oh, I don't even want to bring it. It's just hard to even talk about because then you start sitting there thinking about, ah, oh, it's just, it's bad. It's bad. But let me do a quick breakthrough, uh, and then we'll go from there. Obviously, the gang starts off on the water tower. They are trying to make uh, art on the water tower. And uh, I know what they were going for, but no one can deny it does not look entirely like what it was supposed to look like. So Hyde brings it up, says, man, it looks like somebody given the finger. Kelso goes to make the, the painting wider. He falls off the rail. He gets hurt. Uh, and this is where it goes downhill, basically. Uh, they get home. Eric's like, my mom's a nurse. Let me go upstairs and, uh, you know, wake her up so she could take a look at your wrist. Uh, goes up and <laughs> look at the way he's walking away. Uh, pretty much, and as inappropriate as this is going to sound, my man Red was clapping cheeks, man. Some kitty cheeks, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, he was definitely going to town on kitty. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen if you're a uh, foreman. We then get the epic intro per usual. See, but like here it's like, I don't know, like Kelso's funny, but like not funny, funny. I don't know. It's probably coming off really weird and you're probably not understanding what I mean by it. Uh, but this is fine. He's just basically lying to his dad about how he got hurt. Uh... Everyone keeps bringing up things that, like, oh no, Jackie kisses um, Kelso, and Eric keeps getting very upset with everything that's, like, happening around him that's so sexual, so he storms off, says anyone that wants to come with him has to go now. The, the funniest part about it right here, though, to me, is that Kelso's the one hurt, but Hyde's the one laying in bed. I don't know why. I found that funny. Uh, but basically, this is where Jackie's breaking it down, saying, hey, Hyde, Hyde isn't your friend. He's the one who caused all this. Um, you know, you shouldn't necessarily let him off the hook. And I just realized, is she wearing a picture, a shirt with a picture of herself? <laughs> what is wrong with Jackie? Anyways, uh, we get, like I said, the cool little, I don't even know what you call this. I don't know what you call this, but this camera angle, it's always funny. Uh, going back and forth. Then he obviously, <laughs> he pictures Kitty naked, eating a sausage, which is funny. I knew when they went the other way, it was going to be red. Uh, but then the fact that <laughs> when they go back, she spills something on her chest. Oh, my God. It, I don't know. To me, this is awesome. Everything Foreman, family, Hyde was great um the Kelso stuff was still good it just wasn't uh my favorite the him just being like haunted by his nightmares waking up every hour not even every hour every what 20 minutes went by it seemed like and he was up again or was it i don't know 10 minutes or so he just was up throughout the whole night thinking about it that's again the worst thing that you can think of finally for some weird reason Kitty and Red are finally realizing that uh, Foreman's high most of the damn time. But, I mean, Red has a good point. He's like, oh, he's just weird. And Foreman is very weird, but now nah, they definitely got, they're on to him. But they don't realize that he's actually, uh, like, traumatized by what he walked in on. Uh, he's going to school on a Sunday. Obviously doesn't help his... Uh, ongoing investigation of him being high and on drugs uh what's going on here again he's just super upset with everyone that keeps bringing up sex talk they're watching a tv show or a movie or something uh and it's a bunch of sex talk again so he's just super upset about it this is again and i pointed out every single time do we need Lori with the thin bras do we need midge with the thin bras because to me they're not even attractive they're not that attractive. 
and they they both happen to be the blondes in the in the show. I don't know. It's just me. Maybe I'm nitpicking like I usually do, but basically, uh, I feel like there was a reference here that went over my head. Uh, if there was, please, uh, by all means, let me know. I know the music was very familiar, but again, I don't know much about you know the '70s and back then and all that. Uh, but I knew she was being like a little too nice here. But at the end of the day, she was. You know, being nice and, and trying to help Foreman as best uh, she could. Again, like I said, the skits to me, the skits in the, that camera angle where they're all sitting across from each other, they're always the, like, they're the best part of the show to me. And so this was obviously really funny. Um, Lori really doesn't have any advice because she just pretty much at the end tells him that he's never going to get over it, which would probably be true. This is like I said when... Uh, He's talking to Donna about it. Donna starts to remember the one that she finally got over. Then at first she was trying to put the moves on him. He wouldn't let her. Then once she started talking about their parents, he started thinking about Midge and he was ready to go again. Uh, But she wasn't. And so, I don't know. It was funny. It was cool. Uh, But then see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I like, I, I'm coming off like I hate Kelso. I don't hate Kelso. I don't hate Jackie. Uh, but for some reason, Kelso to me, he has to be yelling something in your face or like getting hurt while trying to do something for him to be funny to me at least. Um, but basically, he's confronting Hyde saying, you know, you're supposed to be my friend. You're laughing at me and coming off very like he just heard it from Jackie, everything that he was supposed to say. And so then Hyde pretty much puts him in the same situation and says, hey, remember when this happened and I was bleeding and you were laughing at me? So they're good to go again. They're friends. Uh, then here, they're Red and uh, Kitty are trying to, you know, lecture, I guess, and, and ask if Eric is on drugs. He then goes to tell them that he walked in on them sleeping, uh, sleeping together. And instead of saying that, he's like, you know what? Yep, I'm on drugs. I'm totally on drugs. And I don't blame him because honestly, having that talk would suck. Of course, Lori ruins the moment, tells them exactly what happened. They go to talk about it. Red starts saying it's, it's funner than it looks. I agree. But at the same time, if you're Eric, you don't want to hear that from your dad. Um, and then basically it, it ends with, you know, Red... Or uh, Kitty bringing it up if Red was, you know, to see his parents. And so it basically tied it in again. Another person who witnessed and was traumatized by something like that. And so she tried to make the moves on him. And he was just like, please don't touch me. And then we end with Fez, who uh, early on in the season was absolutely my favorite character. Uh, He definitely slowed down. I don't know why that is. I, I just don't feel like he has as much screen time. And he doesn't have as much funny moments as he did early on but still nonetheless funny uh trying to finish the painting for kelso to make them proud falls off gets hurt says he's all alone which is the shitty part he is all alone Uh, i guess him and hyde are all alone it's really only two couples but still he's all alone but that's the episode hopefully you enjoyed the review hopefully you enjoyed the reaction don't forget to like comment subscribe head on over to patreon for the full uncut unedited reactions over there episodes extra early over there as well again i gave it i'll I'll give it a nine and a half i guess i won't give it the perfect 10 but it's better than a nine to me it was really funny i enjoyed it i'll catch you guys later bees guys